beast in the trees. Our heroes moved ever closer to discovering the first lost shard of the artifact of soul. But they were not alone. There was something else in the canopy. And it did not take kindly to strangers in its realm. Wait till it makes me. The heroes approached the last known location of the shard in silence, listening for any signs of danger, and not wishing to raise any trouble themselves. Complete silence. Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't want to skip. Another boss fight, huh? And I just fell off the edge. <laughs> I didn't see that the edge sort of ran off, I just ran back. I kind of want to see what it... Return to map. Sorry, this is me OCDing. I've skipped a few of them because I've clicked to go and attack, and that's when the cutscene comes up. Our which is a bit annoying because it straight up just cuts it. And there's no way to the know that, that's just bad luck <laughs> on time. The heroes approached the last known location of the shard in silence, listening for any signs of danger, and not wishing to raise any trouble themselves. <laughs> a missing piece of our trine! Dark Souls. See? Gotta keep referring to Dark Souls now. So, let's not jump off the ledge. Let's work out what he's doing. That looks like a little explosion. Jump over those. So whilst he's dicking around with that, I can probably go and hit his face. Okay, maybe not. Or at least the angle wasn't right there. I suppose I could switch to Sawyer. Or maybe we've got to hit something else instead. I'm not exactly sure what I'm aiming for here. Let's try one of the those. Do I push that into him, maybe? I think that's what maybe he's coming down to. It's Amadeus' turn. Let's do it up to him. I'm going to grab one of those... Uh, fiery balls next time and chuck them at his face. Okay, that was hard to do at the same time. Maybe not then. I've got to do something. This motherfucker don't seem to take no damage. And I'm not seeing his weak spot just yet. I'm trying to work out his branches or what. Yeah, I'm just going to fall off the ledge if I basically just try to attack him. This could go on a while. We could be here a long time. No, it's done no damage. It's got to be these. There we go. It is those. Fair enough. Just got to hit them. It's a bit tricky because they don't move very fast. I've got to grab them, move out of the way, hold down W and flip it up as it's approaching and then also dodge the stuff. It's not as complicated as you think it might be, but it's tricky to get the hang of the first time at least. Oh, we're stepping up the game, are we? I've only done like two damage to you. Jesus. Sexy time would like this boss fight. I'm not sure if I can just put them on the ground and hold on to them for later, but I managed to make use of two. Let's do that. Do they explode? Yeah, I can keep them. That's nice. Oh shit, I get in pushing myself too far there.
Where's them bulls? Bulls are still. Oh, hello. That's a new one. Oh, hell no. Not this motherfucker. What's he want? Okay. That didn't work how I thought it would work. Have I got to get it to come close? Oh, now he's putting the thing down. Uh, oh, I'm trying to... No, sure! <laughs> I try to pull it over to him. Get over here, you slacker. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go. Shoot it. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, this blocking with the shield don't work. Crazy dragon. I wonder if you can create boss fights in the editor as well. Oh man. Yeah, you've got to hold on to it for a bit longer for it to travel his distance. Shit. That's not going to hit him. Oh, it did! I was wrong. In the best possible way. I can just chuck them at them that way. I'll be doing it the more difficult way. Which is actually to sort of like conjure hold onto them. And flotate them over there. Rather than just throw them over there. With the right mouse button. That's unfortunate. Position in there. Next stop, Giant Lands. Just two more to go. The artifact of soul will be restored in no time. Just one more adventure, and everything will be back to normal. <laughs> For a change, I'm feeling rather confident. Even with only a small piece of triumph, we can do anything. Looking forward to it. 
while our valiant heroes continued their adventure, Sarek was taking possession of both Trine's sister and the last artifact of power. <laughs> oh, you little teaser. You little mole teaser. Ah, uh, okay. I see. No, that was cool. That was cool. I was expecting to fight Sarak, but I can imagine there might be an expansion pack or two. And I say expansion pack, I mean DLC to go with this. So, fair enough. I'll look forward to that. But, um, she'll be the leader of the boss. Maybe there'll be the DLC will be her sort of like leading his minions. And then you defeat that DLC and then another DLC comes out where you actually take him on. And then we get Trine 4 after that. Okay, so I wasn't expecting the end of the game specifically based on that boss because that boss wasn't really relevant to anything that we've experienced in this game so far. So there's a little bit of a mm, distorted sort of, uh, well, disjointed story connection going on there. At least I didn't see it, did you? But anyway, I was very satisfied, uh, very satisfied with my time with Trine 3. They've done a fantastic job and it's completely different with the 3D elements, so fantastic really. Short but sweet, but then again, I think I got good value for it at the same time. It's only £14, and that, for about 7-8 to eight hours of gorgeous gameplay, is pretty worth it for me. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then thumbs up the video, and subscribe, and uh, keep on following, I guess. And uh, hmm, I'm curious about the uh, map editor. I might take a look at it. And if it's worth sort of like checking out or making a video about, then I shall do that. Otherwise, if this is it for now. And also, I just saw a Kappa. Kappa Timothy Spiffick. Been playing too much bloody uh, Trine. They really made a character called Kappa. Is that an accident or...? <laughs> I don't know. Who was, who was Kappa in this game? Oh no. There's a guy called Kappa. Okay. Right then. Thank you very much indeed, everyone, and um, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.